Food sport is a broad and truly worldwide game, with shows such as MasterChef, Chopped and Iron Chef bringing competitive cooking into the homes of millions around the globe. Competition Barbecue has been at the forefront of food sport for decades, offering pro events, amateur competitions and even family-friendly junior challenges where the kids are the star of the show. Competition Barbecue can be tense, it can be tiring and as a competitor it can take you to the highest of highs and at times can be a brutal reality check. The roller coaster ride of elation, enthusiasm or even ruining a missed opportunity is all part of the game. Welcome to the world of competitive barbecue. Looking closer at what to expect and we start with the State Cook-Off Association. The SCA is America's hottest new food sport sanctioning body. The SCA promotes steak grilling as its mainstay with a raft of ancillary categories like wings or even burgers, giving competitors something new and exciting to cook up on the side. Having rolled their format out across the globe, the State Cook-Off Association is providing a fun and simple way to get a start in food sport. In the Southern Hemisphere, the Australasian Barbecue Alliance is the go-to sanctioning body for long-format, high-quality wood-fueled barbecue competitions, rolling out more than 35 championship series events each year in Australia and New Zealand. The ABA format is loosely modelled off and pays tribute to the US-style competition formats, but takes the competitions to a new level by promoting creativity, allowing new and exciting championship categories including local favourites such as lamb, seafood and duck, alongside the more traditional beef, chicken and pork. There's plenty of reasons why people compete in food sport and with competition barbecue, whatever the format, it's a great way to take the weekend away, catch up with some good mates and share the passion for cooking and amazing food. Um, I compete for the people. Um, I just love all the people that I meet and traveling and all the tips they do. And yeah, I just compete to travel around and eat barbecue and meet wonderful people. Uh, the main reason I compete is there's nowhere else where you're going to find just such a great bunch of people who are all enthusiastic about the same thing you're doing. To me, it's just that community. Anyone can cook barbecue at home and have a good time. But barbecue competition is about connecting with people but on a competitive level, getting that rivalry, talking the big talk, trying to walk a big game, it's good fun. For me, competing is like camping with 50 of your best mates. We decide to travel over the countryside, pull in our trailer, wherever you know, the next comp might be, to catch up with these friends and we're almost like family. I mean, for us, some of our best friends have, have come from barbecue. Uh, we've even made a business out of it. It's because it's fun, it's like it's crazy and it's, I'm really shit at riding bicycles. I look shit in Lycra. Um, I can't uh, play golf, so I cook. We can't play real sport anymore, so we come and barbecue. Uh, luck of the draw, randomness of being able to win. You know, anyone can win whatever you're cooking on. Uh, yeah, get together with mates, really. <laughs> we often ask ourselves that question too, why do we compete? Look, I think it's, I don't know what it is, it's kind of a bit of a drug, you know, we all get on these long road trips and then it's that adrenaline rush of when you pick up some metalware or, and it's just the community, honestly that's what brings us back, is just all these guys and gals here that are just as passionate as we are. Oh man. I tell you, the best highlight of my barbecue career was uh, last year at a competition in uh, ribs, pigs, and watermelons in Newport Beach. Um, it's a, my son and daughter competed in the kids' queue, and my son took first place, and my daughter took second place. To me, that was one of the best highlights of my career. Seeing my kids enjoying my passion and doing well at it—that's definitely gets to me. Uh, 
A lot of these guys I've just here in Alabama I've met for the first time this weekend and they already feel like I've known them forever. Uh, competitions, they might seem a little uh, hard to get into or I guess intimidating because you see all these big fancy rigs out here. But all you need is, I mean, right here there's a couple of drums or trash cans. Uh, guys win on these things all the time. You don't need any big fancy expensive rigs. It's uh, just get out there and throw your hat in the ring and see what happens. You know, last year I wasn't even near the barbecue. I was just walking around the barbecue area saying, hey man, I'm gonna build my own rig and I'm come over here compete in the World Food Championships in barbecue. I mean, a year ago you could have just laughed and been like, yeah, okay, Un unimaginable, right? But this year I built my rig and there's a World Food Champ from last year, Luke Darnell, right next door to me. You know, it's, it's just almost like a dream come true almost to be able to come out and do that. You know, all the advice I give people that um, that been in, that want to do this barbecue competition is I hope you have a lot of money to burn because at the end of the day, if you get the barbecue bug bite, as I say, you become obsessed, you waste your money burning fuel, burning meat, and burning through a lot of cash, but at the end, there's a silver lining, and I always tell people, uh, if you really have a passion for it, don't test the water, just jump straight in, uh, do what you do and cook strong. Most weekends you can find a good barbecue or grilling competition, particularly in the US and also in some parts of Europe. If you're in Australia or New Zealand, the Australasian Barbecue Alliance and the State Cook-Off Association are working together, with a number of weekends hosting back-to-back -back competitions at the same festival or event. Competitors can pick and choose which categories they want to enter, and it's always a great weekend when taking home some cash or a shiny new trophy. With resources like the ausbbq.com.au website and Facebook groups, the newcomers have more information than ever on how to get started. Competition Barbecue is a family friendly and open to anybody food sport. All it takes is getting a few friends, family or mates together and giving it a go. Join our series in discovering the world of barbecue. We visit the capital of modern barbecue, experience competition barbecue and we get all the tips on how to get started. Subscribe to our series, share and hashtag Beyond the Flame.